What's going on everyone, Captain Horn here. Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. I hope you enjoy watching and maybe even learn a thing or two from this video. Before we begin, if you would like to see more Microsoft Flight Simulator content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It takes less than 5 seconds and it would greatly help my channel out. If you are interested in supporting myself and my channel, be sure to check out the different tiers in my Patreon for different rewards. If you are interested in becoming an active member in my community, or would like to find others to fly with in Microsoft Flight Simulator, feel free to join my Discord. The link to both my Patreon and Discord are in the description. Let's get right into this video. What's going on everybody, Captain Horn 23 here, and today I'll be showing you how to connect and use Flight Plan Go with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Flight Plan Go is a free iOS and Android app that allows you to view your aircraft on a live map of the entire world. With this app, you can even view approach and departure plates of any major and even minor airports you can think of. You can also view updated airport charts and have a much easier time taxiing. This app is amazing, and I used to use it all the time with X-Plane, and now we can use it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So first, let me show you guys how to get the app and the coupler to use it with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Alright guys, so what you're seeing on the screen right now, this is actually my iPad, but this will work with any phone or any tablet really, but I just happen to have an iPad. So what you want to do on iOS is navigate to the App Store, and then of course we want to go to Search, and then we're going to search up FLT, and that first option that shows up right there, that FLT Plan Go, go ahead and click that. And then you see this flight plan go right here that already says open for me, but for you, you're going to have to download it. So go ahead and get that. And of course, if you're on an Android or something of that matter, then it is on the Google Play Store. So just download it and install it. And it's going to look something like this on the home page. Um, now, there's a lot of stuff here, but we really want to, I'll, I'll show you guys uh, what you, is really important. I haven't looked over all the features of this, but I do know how to get approach, departure plates, airport diagrams, obviously it says it right there, and um, some other stuff. So once you have it on the iPad, what we need to do is actually go grab the coupler so it will communicate with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. All right, so to grab the coupler, we're going to need what's called the Flight Plan Go GPS, and it's going to be obtained from their website, flightplan.com. The link will be down in the description. Now we see it says connect Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and FSX to Flight Plan Go, but obviously we just want MSFS. So from here, uh, you want to go right here, this download Flight Plan Go GPS by clicking here. Now I know it says FSX, but just disregard that. They're both made by Microsoft and it, it will work, just trust me. <laughs> so this number two right here says download the Flight Plan Go GPS by clicking here. So obviously we want to click here. And it's going to download this setup.msi. Go ahead and run that. And we're just going to hit next. And you can, this is just personal preference. I just have just me or you can select everyone. Really doesn't matter. All right. And then click next to start the installation. And then you want to allow it. So hit yes. There we go. And now it's going to hang right here. And that's because you need to come down to your taskbar. And you see there's two of these computer with the disks thing. So click on one. And this didn't pop up. But you got to click on it. And it says, are you using the Steam version of FSX? It really doesn't matter. I, I hit no because we're not even using FSX. All right, and then it's going to say it's successfully installed. After that, what you want to do is navigate to your desktop, and we now have this Flight Plan Go GPS right here. Go ahead and open that up. And then this is really easy. All you want to do is hit connect. And then when it says, are you connecting to our Windows 10 app, hit no because we are using an external device such as an iPad or a phone. So go ahead and hit no, and we are ready to go. All right, guys, once you have that coupler connected, what you want to do is navigate into your Flight Plan Go. So again, my iPad is on the left side of the screen here. And after you're in the app, what you want to do is hit this external right above the checklist on this side, just like that. And we have external devices. All you want to do is scroll down all the way right here. And we see simulators. We have X-Plane or FSX and prepared. What you want to do is hit the FSX and prepared, just like this and it is now connected. We see connected right there, and last update, which is the current time, latitude, longitude, altitude, course, speed, pitch, roll, heading, true airspeed, indicated, and pressure. All right, and I am currently sitting at Charlotte International Airport, 
in the simulator and now I'm gonna view my aircraft on a chart now this is really cool guys so this is one of the features what you want to do is hit the airports right which is the second option right below flightplango.com all right and after you hit the airports what you want to do is go up to the top you see I already have it input KCLT and you can put any airport that you can think of so we could put K SFO for San Francisco and just click on it just like that and with this page we can view the airport diagram which is in the right hand corner and it, it, it might sometimes sh uh, show this obviously you want to hit download current and it doesn't take long at all you see and now we have access to the entire airport chart and we can zoom in and view different taxiways the different runways just literally everything this is a fully updated FAA approved airport chart which is really awesome now if I go back to KCLT which is where I currently am at in the simulator just like this and I again hit airport diagram look at that that is so cool there's my plane with the little red circle pulsating out and in fact if I go forward in the simulator just like this look at it moving is that not the coolest thing ever see it's moving down the runway right now that is amazing okay and I can stop and of course it will stop on my iPad just like that right in between the runway 18 left and 23 so that is awesome now another thing you can do is actually view some procedures as in departure and approach procedures so if you go to the left side list we see it says FBOs which is currently highlighted we can go to information view information about the airport we can even view the frequencies of the airport different runways of the airport and here's the tab that we want which is procedures now with the procedures you can view a whole bunch of stuff so approaches we have all of our approach plates here for every single runway RNAV and ILS's arrivals which is the different SIDS uh, sorry those are the different stars here is your different SIDS right here and the departure plates we got the Barmy 4 RNAV got all these and this is amazing so let's say I'm coming in for an ILS approach at Charlotte and I'm landing ILS runway 18 center which is the second option here I can click on it and that is the approach plate look at this this is so cool guys and it'll show your plane right here and if if we were coming in from this way <clears throat> we could see whenever we're going to capture the localizer because that is shown by this big old arrow looking thing right here now this is a bird's eye view and down here we actually have the horizontal view and this is a really good way to view your altitude restrictions so at Jedco we have to be at or above 8,000 feet at Lerdy, we have to be at or above 7,065, etc., etc. And this has so much information. It has the localizer frequency right there, 111.3. The course, the, this app is just phenomenal. We can do the same thing with our departure plates. So let's say I'm taking the icons for departure. Well, look at that. Now, uh, it's not going to show our aircraft. Some charts don't support the showing of your aircraft, but that's just fine. I mean, we can kind of figure out where we're at if you know your airport. So I'm right here right now. And we can see the departure plate. And it's just amazing. This app is phenomenal. And another thing that is very useful, and by the way, guys, I will be using this whenever I do the... Um, the taxiing with that sim because this is just crazy useful and let me show you why so if I go to airport diagram like this then you are able to let's just say I'm right here at the terminal you know just the main terminal all right and let's say the air traffic control is reading my taxi well this is really easy all you want to do is hit this little pencil icon right here in the top right just like that and then you can even draw on the chart so you can draw out your taxi just like this let's say we take Bravo here on the mic down Foxtrot and take off runway 5 just like that and it is just the most useful thing and you don't have to use it for just that I mean hell you can write down your frequencies so like 122.1 or whatever you want if it would there we go 122.1 <laughs> 
Um, you can even go all the way to the bottom, and we have this scratch pad, which is three up from the bottom. And you see right there, it, it saved what I wrote down for VatSim. So this is like a notepad that you can use. So see, I had Charlie, that's my squawk, or something like that. Uh, it doesn't This does not look completed, but you guys understand what you can do. So uh, if you watch my VatSim tutorial with the clearance delivery, you can write down tons of information just using this scratch pad right here. And you can literally, whatever you want to write down can go in this scratch pad. So I can, again, write down a frequency or my squawk, let's say is like 3741. Or you can write down the runway that you're going to take off from, which might be 36 center for me at Charlotte or something. So just the possibilities are endless with this app and I haven't even checked out the other features of this app which I'm sure is phenomenal like this weather page right here um, we got KDAB I'm not sure oh because you can change the airport wow look at that so you can even add different airports to your weather right here so I'm just gonna add KCLT and let's see what it shows just click on KCLT there we go this afternoon, partly sunny tonight, chance of showers. And we even get a METAR down here. I mean, this app is phenomenal. You guys, this is like a must-have for this flight simulator. It is amazing, and it'll make your piloting skills 100 times better. I'm definitely going to be using Flight Plan Go more in my tutorials, and um, especially with the VATSIM, because I cannot stress enough how useful this is with VATSIM. So there's a ton more features, but guys, go ahead and play around with it. I want to keep this video semi-short. But I just figured I'd hit on the hot spots of this app and how useful it can be. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Um, I hope you get the app. And if you have any trouble, don't forget I do have a Discord link in the description where you can join the server. And me and or myself and others can help you out. Be on the lookout for more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 tutorials and videos and live streams. Don't forget I do have a Patreon. Check out the tiers down in the description below. The link is there. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I will see you guys on the next video.